1993 promises to be a watershed year for Aztec football, a program which has emerged from the mists of obscurity into the brilliant glare of the national spotlight. San Diego State will feature strong leadership, a deep and athletic squad, and college football's most charismatic performer. Aztec football is a ritual. It's big time college football, with huge crowds drawn to watch the most exciting team in the nation. Basking in warm sunshine, or supercharged in a brisk autumn evening, Aztec fans of all ages are turning out in record numbers. Last year, San Diego State boasted the largest attendance increase in all of college football, and it's easy to see why. A mother load of talent, big plays by the bushel, and college football's most distinctive uniforms make the Aztecs real crowd pleasers at the stadium and on television, where the Aztecs have become a fixture. In 1993, much of that national exposure will focus on college football's best running back and his relentless pursuit of the Heisman Trophy. Marshall William Falk has played just 19 games for the red and black, but he is already the stuff of legend. The most decorated student athlete in San Diego State history, Marshall Falk led the nation in rushing and became the university's first consensus All-American in 1992. That was a worthy sequel to his remarkable 91 campaign, when he became the first freshman ever to lead the country in rushing and scoring. Despite his spectacular accomplishments as a freshman, Falk still had his share of doubters. However, skepticism gave way to superlatives after Falk's sterling performance in San Diego State's 1992 opener. First and 10 from the 41, they're going to run Falk off the right side, big hole, 45 to the 50, down the sidelines, to the 30, he's going to go! Pitted against the vaunted Trojans of USC, Falk rushed for 220 yards and scored three touchdowns in a heart-stopping 31-31 tie. The performance electrified the national media and firmly established number 28 in the pantheon of contemporary college football heroes. In just two seasons on Montezuma Mesa, Marshall Falk has rewritten the record books. A two-time All-American, the first player in 20 years to win back-to-back -back national rushing titles, the all-time NCAA per game scoring leader. Runner-up for the Heisman Trophy last season, Falk is the odds-on favorite in 93. With Marshall running behind veteran linemen Carson Leomiti, Mike Alexander, and Chris Finch, the Aztecs figure to run roughshod over 93 opponents. San Diego State's solid depth makes that happy prospect a near certainty. Throughout his career, Falk has been more than ably backed up by fellow junior Wayne Pittman. The former Mira Mesa High School standout has carried over 200 times and averaged almost five yards per carry. Good enough to start almost anywhere else in the country, Aztec fans are thankful that Pittman has made a remarkable recovery from a severe leg injury and is ready to ramble in 93. But come September, all eyes will be on number 28, one of just two players to have gained more than 3,000 yards in his first two seasons, shooting to become the first player ever to lead the nation in rushing three straight years. Marshall Falk, a one-of-a-kind talent. Opponents gang up on Marshall Falk at their peril. For David Lowry and the renowned Aztec Aerial Circus have the firepower to wreak havoc. 
a starter for less than two full seasons. Lowry is already fifth on state's all-time passing charts. In 1992, he triggered an offense that scored more than 30 points a game and tallied 22 touchdowns through the air. San Diego State's crowd-pleasing tradition of bombs away football will once again be showcased in 1993. The receiving core returns virtually intact and included in this group are a quartet of game breakers. Senior Keith Williams was the team's second leading receiver last year, snaring touchdown catches of 44 and 73 yards. Sophomore Ray Peterson had an impressive debut in 92 as both a receiver and kick returner. Sophomore DeAndre Maxwell emerged strongly in the second half of last season, with four of his 11 receptions going for touchdowns. But if there is one indispensable member of the Aztec receiving core, it would have to be All-American candidate Darnay Scott. Entering his junior year, the Kearney High School alumnus has already established a number of milestones. In a memorable performance against Texas El Paso last year, his 272 yards and receptions set a single-game Western Athletic Conference record. Scott also holds the NCAA single-game record for receiving yards by a freshman set in 1991 against BYU. A textbook example of a deep threat, seven of Scott's 1992 touchdowns covered 30 yards or more. San Diego State has never had two first-team All-Americans in the same year, but with Darnay Scott and Marshall Falk combining talents, Aztec fans may see another first in 93. Such a development would be yet another accolade for head coach Al Luganville, who has completely revitalized Aztec football. In his four years at the helm, SDSU has become one of the WAC's elite teams and one of the game's rising powers. The electrifying excitement that permeates San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium is no longer a secret. The Aztecs have become one of college football's glamour programs. San Diego State set an all-time home attendance record in 1992 and appeared on television seven times, garnering as much national exposure as any team in the country. But Al Luganville wants his program to move up to the next level, and he knows for that to happen, the defense must perform. The defense will move to the beat of a different drummer in 93, as new defensive coordinator Dell White works to maximize the talents of a fast, aggressive group. The key to Aztec success is anchored in the front seven. An experienced aggregation featuring number 55, Tyrone Morrison. Returning from a knee injury that cut short an outstanding 1992, Morrison could play a major role this fall. Number 48, Jamal Duff, made 46 tackles as a sophomore, earning second team all whack honors. Number 93, Sebastian Glazé, will see extensive action at defensive end, as will sophomore sensation Leroy Glover, number 92. Moving from nose guard in the Aztecs' new 4-3 alignment, Glover is all whack material, as is number 90, six foot seven inch defensive end Raimondo Stallings. 
The veteran linebacking core features number 99, Sean Smith, and returnees Mark Roberts and Terrell Steen. In the wild, wild whack, pass coverage can make or break dreams of conference titles and postseason glory. This year, a pair of experienced DBs will lead the charge as the Aztec secondary faces the full fury of enemy air attacks. Senior Darryl Lewis, number nine, has matured into one of the best free safeties in school history. Bursting onto the scene in 1991, Lewis quickly became a fan favorite. Number 15 fellow senior Chris Johnson provides a cool head and quick feet at strong safety. Injured in a freak accident late in 1992, his absence was a gut-wrenching loss to the young Aztecs down the stretch. Fully recovered, he should enjoy a stellar campaign in 1993. Johnson and Lewis are both big play performers who are capable of game-breaking efforts at crucial junctures. Indeed, Lewis was named the Aztecs' outstanding defensive back after a season that saw him lead the team in both tackles and interceptions. He was also the recipient of the school president's award for academic and athletic excellence. In 1993, the Aztecs set their sights on a conference title. It won't come easy. One national publication has four WAC teams, including the Aztecs, ranked among its preseason top 25. Accordingly, Aztec fans will be treated to an exciting home schedule that includes a September 4th opener against the Matadors of Cal State Northridge. On September 25th, Big Ten representative Minnesota makes its first visit to San Diego. Five days later, it's Pac-10 power UCLA in a highly anticipated Thursday night clash. The Rams of Colorado State come calling on October 16th, inaugurating the home portion of the conference schedule. One week later, it's homecoming, with the dramatically improved New Mexico Lobos providing the opposition. Thursday night, November 11th spells BYU, a matchup that's already being heralded as one of college football's top games of 1993. The home schedule concludes with a shootout against the Cowboys of Wyoming on November 27th. Of course, Aztec faithful are counting on one more home game. A date in the Thrifty Car Rental Holiday Bowl on December 30th. With nine of 11 offensive starters returning, with two, maybe more, All-Americans on the field, expectations have reached fever pitch. There's no question about it. The sheer excitement of SDSU football has captured the imagination of football fans everywhere. Come this September, San Diego Jack Murphy Stadium will once again reverberate with the sights and sounds of raw emotion. Big names, big games, and the most memorable moments in San Diego sports history. Be part of the action. Live the memories as they happen in an atmosphere of unbridled bedlam. For season ticket information, call 283 SDSU. Join the 1993 San Diego State Aztecs on an odyssey to excellence and beyond.